Uh, okay, there, here's one from Douglas. How about the dynamics of turbocharging, massive heat buildup, and torture of motor oil in the engines, yet that the engines endure? Uh, it's not free power, it comes at a cost. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little different position. If you've got massive heat buildup, you're, you're not managing, you're not managing en the heat in the engine. Uh, I mean, if you've got the right radiator, the right intercooler, right oil cooler, your temperatures will run where they're supposed to, and there's really no additional torture on, on the motor from heat uh, because you need to get the heat out. If, if you're, if you're, if you are running massive heat, you got to do something. You got to pull that heat out. You got to get rid of those BTUs. Uh, we've got a great radiator. The, uh, you've heard me talk about before the three core triple pass radiator, uh, and it not only helps bring water temperatures down, it also helps bring oil temperature down. Uh, Joe Johnson, one of our academy alumni, has a GT350, and he was concerned because he does a lot of track days. He was concerned because his oil temperature was going like a little north of 280, which is, is pretty hot. So before he, I told him before we added an oil cooler, let's let's put the, the right a good radiator in and see what happens. And then if if the oil temperature is still high, then we'll go to an oil cooler. Uh, he puts the triple pass radiator in and his oil temperature hasn't gone above 260. And it, it took over 20 degrees out of the oil temperature and it's just as stable as it can be. So, I mean, it, it's like if you've got turbocharger, if you're making more heat, you got a supercharger, you got a turbocharger, you have to increase the cooling capacity. And that's one thing that always gripes me because you see these, these, these cars, like there's dealers that are selling cars for a while. All they did was put a supercharger on and try to sell it for, you know, at a cheap price and push it out the door. Uh, I mean, you've just added a whole bunch of extra horsepower, a whole bunch of extra BTUs, and not doing anything to get rid of it. Anytime you supercharge a car or turbocharge a car, you have to increase cooling capacity. 